Hello, Star Children. Star Children, you guys uh, like that name? Uh, it's uh, it's me, Ash, and uh, today, other than making up really lame names, I'm also going to be teaching you how to automate your turrets so that they shoot things on their own. Yeah. So, last time in Episode 6, we learned how to build a turret and then make it into a turret and then shoot it on our own, like aiming it with our own bare hands and shooting it with our own bare hands as well. Both things required bare hands. This time we're going to learn how to automate the turret so that it will shoot on its own at uh, various pirates and other unwanted guests as you see fit. So we have our turret built already as you can see but I'll go over some basics so that you guys don't necessarily have to go back and watch the last one but if you want to know a very general very specific stuff rather go back and watch episode 6. Basically, you need to get yourself a ship core as if you're going to build a ship because that's exactly what you're going to do. You get your ship core and you hit X. Like so. Boom. And it'll pop up and ask you what your name of your ship is. You name it and it'll spawn in the ship core. Then you go about building it exactly how you would build a ship except keeping in mind that you're going to turn this thing into a turret. So build it as you would want the turret to look. Uh, try to keep the bottom of the ship core bare because when you dock it, that's where it's going to attach. It's going to attack to the attach to the very bottom of the ship core. And uh, if there's blocks there, if there's a block here, it's not going to work. So you build it, you put power on it if you want. I mean, you can power it with your, your space station's power, but you don't really want to do that. Uh, it, 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 it'll it run out of power pretty fast, especially if you have some of the better weapons on it. Uh, you put the weapon type that you like uh, on there, attach it to your weapon's computer, and then uh, you basically have yourself a turret. You dock it by uh, the same way you would dock a normal ship. If you don't know how to do that, you go into your ship and you fly it straight at the, uh, the turret docking unit here. And then you select your ship core and your hotbar rather than an actual weapon. And then you shoot at it using the ship core and it will dock you on there. The difference being, instead of it being stationary like the ship over there, it can't move around while it's docked. This one can pivot around and aim. Now once you have it built, you look for a, a, one of these. It's a Bobby AI module. You get it, you go into build mode, and I'll take it off and I'll do it to mimic, you know, being awesome. Uh, you go into build mode, you hit C on your ship core so it'll connect to the ship core, and then you place it wherever you want, and then you leave uh, the ship. Then you go and you hit R on the Bobby AI module, and uh, it'll look like it'll look like this. Uh, what you want to do is you want to select turret, and then you want to activate it, and then you're done. Uh, you can make if you have if you have an AI unit on a ship, and you want to just have your ship automated, then leave it as ship. But otherwise, just leave it like this. This option up here, it'll only fire at your selected target. But uh, the best bet, really, starting off, is to just have it aim at anything close enough to kill that's a hostile. Now, the next step you want to do, if, if I just stopped there, the video would be like three minutes long and uh, it would be pointless. I want to go an extra step and do something that I haven't seen any of the other tutorials about turrets do, and that's teach you how to spawn in a pirate so that you can test out your turret. Now, the best thing you can do is build a little ship without any guns on it so that it doesn't just, like, murder you. The best way is, is to do that. And I just built a little ship. All it's got is an engine, some power, and the ship core. Now what you want to do is you want to save a ship. Uh, meaning save the blueprints of a ship. And the only way you can do that is to fly the ship that you want to save over to the store. And then save it there. And that's what we're going to do. I've actually got, already got this one saved. But I'm going to show you anyway. Let's get into fly mode and we'll fly towards our local store. And I'll show you guys the UI and everything and how to do it. Alright, we're at the store. This little ship is going about 50 MPH. And let's go to B. And down here at the bottom, you got your catalog. And I've already got it saved in here. It's called Fodder. Because, you know, that's what it's going to be. Hit Create New Entry and then Name It. And it will save it. Create New Entry. Uh, actually, let's just delete this one. Deal it. Uh, yes. Let's delete it. Create new entry, and we'll delete this and just call it fodder because that's what the ship is called. 
Okay, we've got it in there. Then we'll turn it back around, and we'll go back to our spaceship. So hopefully. I, there it is. Okay. Now we're going back to our space station. And we'll spawn in a pirate. And the reason we had to save that in the catalog is because we need a ship saved that the game can spawn a pirate into. So if you have any other ships that you've been saving, you could spawn it into any one of those ships. Also, one good thing to do is you want to be saving your ships in that because later on, you can just flat out buy the ship based on the cost of materials. So if you're flying around this ship, the Star Masher, what's it called? I don't really remember. Uh, Star Muncher, that's what it is called. If I was flying the Star Muncher around and it got destroyed, I could go back to any store and buy the Star Muncher exactly how it was again, assuming that I had it saved in there. Now, once you have it saved, you're going to want to have admin. Now, you can go into your star made file, and there should be an admins folder, and I believe you can just add your name into that, and then it should give you admin access. I have admin access already because I have attached my name to the server uh, through various means, and so I have admin. If you guys, need, if you guys are having a problem with getting admin uh, on your game, then just leave me a comment, and I'll figure it out for you. So once you have admin, you type in this admin command. You go into chat, uh, and you type slash spawn underscore mobs space. Then you type the name of your ship that you just saved, fodder, or, or type in the name of the, the save that you just made, not necessarily the ship name. Uh, we named it fodder over there, so we'll type fodder, then we'll space, and we type in minus one to tell the game that's going to be a pirate in the ship and then space and the next number is going to be how many you want to spawn in so we'll spawn in two just for funsies boom and now we have two red markers oh no and look oh shit it's going nuts it's going nuts it wants those pirates dead and you know what with good reason because pirates are the fucking worst you know captain jack sparrow gave them a like this good name but really they just smell, they steal from people, oh, they're the fucking worst. And as you can see, it's just being, it's just getting rowdy and raucous up in this bitch. It wants this pirate dead, oh god, this thing is gonna collide with our ship. Oh my god, it's, it's careening off into space, everyone, holy crap. <laughs> Alright, so oh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go over here, oh man, that gun is extremely loud. This guy, it doesn't have a gun, but it's coming back for more. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna remove this thing. Oh my god, let's keep going. It's just gonna keep going. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, what's happening? Oh, this is his partner's back. His partner's back. Oh. <laughs> and the, I tested this earlier. Jesus. Okay. So let's go over here. And maybe the sound of that uh, weapon will actually... Uh, we'll stop uh, some, somewhat. Okay, so, as you can hear, it works. It is a positive, positively active and working as intended. Alright, so, hopefully you guys learned how to do everything. I know the one thing that most of the tutorials was missing whenever I was looking up the turret stuff to make sure I didn't miss anything was how to actually test it without going manually around the space and trying to find a pirate. So hopefully the addition of how to spawn in pirates with admin commands will actually help you guys even further in building and testing your turrets out. So until next time, I've been Esh. Please watch more Star Made on the on the channel if you need to learn anything else. If you guys have anything you want to learn and you think I should teach you, please leave a comment. Until next time, I've been Esh. Play on.